four pop culture specialists battle out in four rounds of no holds barred quizzing. This is Quiz Omnium 3. This is Sabotage. Hello and welcome to Quiz Omnium 3. This is the pop culture Quiz Omnium and we have four great competitors for you today. And we will be starting off with Sabotage, the brutal version of Mimir where each player has picked the subjects the others have to play. They hope that the other players won't know these subjects and they'll be able to capitalise and pick up on bonus points. So let's meet the contestants and find out what the subjects are. Hi, I'm Julia Hobbs. Hello, I'm Dev Bill. Hello, I'm Nick Paul. Hi, I'm Beth Webster. For Sabotage, our contestants have picked a fiendish selection of questions that they think they can do well on and their opponents won't. And for the first time, the contestants are about to find out what has been selected. Beth has selected The Muppets, Cocktails and Poisonings in Agatha Christie novels. Dave has selected The World's Strongest Man, Minecraft and 90s Euro dance. Julia has selected advertising slogans, Gilmore Girls and 80s music. And Nick has selected the Moscone Cup, Only Fools and Horses and Best Director Oscar winners. First reactions, guys. Are we excited about what we're going to face? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a nice spread, for it that way. Yeah, I don't even know what the Moscone Cup is. Never Brilliant. Any questions about it. That suits me. Yeah, I'm sure. I for clarity, the, the Moscone Cup is a pool tournament, so uh, look forward to those questions then, Julie. Great, loving it. Start off round one with Julia. Your three questions start with 90s Euro dance hits. Ray Slingyard and Anita Dells were the members of which 90s Euro dance group from the Netherlands, whose non-number one UK top 10 singles include Get Ready For This, Tribal Dance and The Real Thing. Two Unlimited. It's correct. Your second question. Europe's Ralph Souquet has made the joint highest number of appearances in the Moscone Cup's history with 17, which American player shares this honour with him? Um... Smith. <laughs> uh, that is incorrect. Dave, do you want to have a shot? Johnny Archer. Johnny Archer is correct for a bonus. And uh, your third question, Julia, if you like that, you'll love uh, World's Strongest Man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Referencing an acting role he played, which six foot nine Icelandic strongman, the winner of the 2018 World's Strongest Man competition, is nicknamed The Mountain. No, I'm going to say. Finson. <laughs> it is unsurprisingly incorrect. Nick. Hathor Bjornsson. Hathor Bjornsson is correct. He played the mountain in Game of Thrones. Okay. <laughs> Dave, we're on to your questions. Advertising slogans. Advancement through technology is an English translation of which motor manufacturer's most well-known advertising slogan? Uh, Audi. It's correct. Forsprung Dirk Technique. Technique. Indeed. Cocktails. A seven and seven is a cocktail made by mixing seven up with a shot of which brand's seven crown American whiskey? Uh, well, I would guess it. Jim Beam? Incorrect. Beth? No, pass. No. Julia? Seagram's. Seagram's is correct. And uh, your Gilmore Girls question, Dave. There are recurring references in Gilmore Girls to which 1987 film? Due to the actress Kelly Bishop playing the role of the female lead character's mother in that film, as well as Gilmore Girls. Uh, is it Footloose? It's not, Beth. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing is correct. So Nick, your questions. Agatha Christie used her knowledge of poisons gained during her time as a dispenser during World War I in many of her novels. In fact, the first victim in her first novel dies as a result of strychnine poisoning. What was the name of the book? Murder at the Vicarage? Incorrect. Beth? Mysterious Affair at Styles. Is correct. Your second question on 80s music, Nick. Which Scottish pop duo 
who had a top 10 hit in the UK in 1987 with Labour of Love, were founded by the brothers Pat and Greg Kane. A hue and cry. Correct. And your third question. Sung by Kermit the Frog in his swamp home, what song opens the 1979 film The Muppet Movie? Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, would that it were, Nick. Would that it were. <laughs> uh, Julia. Is it's not easy being green. No, that's wrong. Dave. No, thank you. Beth. Rainbow Connection. Is oh. correct. And Beth, finally, your three questions. Uh, best Director Oscar winners. Who is the most recent winner of the Best Director Oscar receiving the award for the film Nomadland? Zhao? Correct. Chloe Zhao. Minecraft. Minecraft has its own version of hell called the Nether, where things work very differently from the surface. While very useful in the overworld for skipping time, which objects will explode if you interact with them in the Nether? I don't know. Okay, I'll take that as a pass. pass. Dave? A bed. A bed is correct. And your final question uh, on Only Fools and Horses. Raquel complains about a box of 250 t-shirts that depict which man along with a political slogan in the episode Mother Nature's Son. It prompts Del to say, I bought him on a Thursday evening and Saturday morning he was out on parole. I mean, how was I supposed to know? Nelson Mandela. Is correct. <laughs> so, at the end of round one, uh, Nick and Julia have two points, Dave has three, and Beth is in the lead with five. So, Julia, your questions begin with cocktails. Which gin based cocktail was de developed by bartender Nyam Tong Boon while working at the Raffles Hotel in a world capital? It's traditionally garnished with mascarino cherries and pineapple. Uh, Singapore sling. Yeah, I may have mangled the pronunciation of <laughs> maraschino cherries, but, <laughs> but who cares? Um, your second question on the Muppets. The character Beaker often appears as an assistant to what hapless scientist? A graduate of Carnegie Mellon Head University. First and last name required. Hudson Honeydew. Is correct. And your third question on uh, advertising slogans. In 2017, which skincare brand had to withdraw an advertising campaign that used the slogan, White is Purity? Ooh. Mm. No, I'm going to pass that. Okay, Nick. Pass. Dave. It Nivea. It was Nivea. Oh, I was going to say Nivea. Damn it. <laughs> There's no penalty for guessing on your own question. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so we move on to Dave. And your questions begin with the Moscone Cup. Which Maltese player was the Moscone Cup's MVP in 2007? Tony Drago. Tony Drago is correct. In Only Fools and Horses, the police officer and later criminal Roy Slater was a recurring character played by which Oscar-winning actor? Jim Broadbent. It was. And your final question on 90s Eurodance hits. Which Dutch electro-pop group that featured Judith Pronk on lead vocals secured two UK top five singles in 1999 from their top ten album, Who Needs Guitars Anyway? Um, Captain Hollywood Project? Incorrect. Nick? No. Pass. Julia? No. Beth? Pass. Uh, that's Alice DJ. Nick, we kick off with Minecraft, which I feel is a very fertile area for you. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, what was the name of the Swedish video games development company that created Minecraft prior to its purchase by Microsoft in 2014? Bloody hell, I know this, I think. I 
can't remember. Pass. Julia. Pass. Beth. Mojang. Mojang is correct. Um, World's Strongest Man, Nick. At the 1995 World's Strongest Man event, future competition winner Magnus Samuelson broke the arm of future WWE wrestler Nathan Jones when they competed against each other in which event? Arm wrestling? Is correct. And your question on Best Director Oscar winners. Which Best Director Oscar winner is known for his Baltimore Tetralogy, consisting of the films Diner, Tin Men, Avalon and Liberty Heights? Dear. Levinson is correct. Oh my goodness! Wow. Well done. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and we move to Beth. Um, Beth, eighties music. Stephen Duffy had a hit in 1985 with the song "Kiss Me," a song originally written by which of his former bands? The band's name was incorporated into his stage name for this and other singles. Oh. Tintin out. Incorrect. Nick? Tintin. Yes, that's correct. Unlucky Beth, that was hitting the bar, but Tintin out are an actual act, so couldn't accept that. Uh, Gilmore Girls, Beth? Which singer who also acted in the show re recorded her 1970 song Where You Lead with her daughter Louise Goffin as the theme song for Gilmore Girls? Carly Simon? Incorrect. Julia? Carol King. Is correct. Uh, your question, Beth, then, on Poisonings in Agatha Christie novels. In Crooked House, which character dies after he's given what he assumes is an insulin injection, but is in fact Esserine that he takes for his eye condition? Oh, if only I'd read it. It's sitting on my bookshelf, ready to read. Oh, I don't know. Uh, pass. Okay, Nick? Pass. Julia? Pass. Dave? Pass. Unsurprisingly there, then, that is uh, Aristide Leonidas. Sorry, that's a spoiler, Beth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I ruined that book for you. Um, he died in Christie novel. No way. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's probably been out for about 50 years. So. <laughs> So at the halfway point, we have a very, very tight match. We've got Julia and Nick tied on five, and Dave and Beth tied on six. So this could go anyway, and we start round three with Julia. And Julia, this is an only, ha uh, only halls and forces question. <laughs> Julia, this is an Only Fools and Horses question for you. Only Fools and Horses took its title from that of an episode of Citizen Smith. Both that episode and the series Only Fools and Horses were written by which man? John Sullivan. Correct. So your second question, Julia, is on poisonings in Agatha Christie novels. In Five Little Pigs, Amias Crail dies as a result of ingesting conine, which was hidden in a glass of which drink? No, pass. Nick. Pass. Dave. Pass. Beth. Lemonade? Uh, incorrect, it's beer. Mm -hmm. And Julia, your third question is on 80s music. In 1982, who became the first act since the Beatles to perform twice on the same edition of Top of the Pops when they played both parts of their double A-side number one single? One of those songs was titled Precious. Oh, the jam. Is correct, for one. Dave, moving on to you. Your first question is on the Muppets. Wacka Wacka is the catchphrase of which Muppets character? Ozzy Bear. Is correct. Best Director Oscar winners. William Wyler received the most nominations for Best Director with 12 in total. Name any of the three films for which he received the Best Director Oscar. Um, Mrs. Miniver. Is correct. And Minecraft. A key art in Minecraft is brewing potions. To make a potion of weakness, you need a water bottle and what ingredient? Um, is it rotten flesh? It's not. Nick? Pass. Julia? Pass. 
Beth. Us. It is fermented spider's eye. I mean, lovely. Which we all happen to have knocking around. <laughs> um, so, Delicious. Nick, we're moving on to you. Nick, in Gilmore Girls, Lorelei Gilmore opens the Dragonfly Inn with her friend Suki St. James. Suki St. James is played by which comedy actress? Blimey. I know somebody who's in it. Whether she plays this character, I don't know. Melissa McCarthy? Is correct. Good answer. She'll always be Suki to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, advertising slogans. Nick, in 1984, which high street bank adopted the slogan, the bank that likes to say yes? In what year, sorry? 1984. The Midland? Incorrect. Julia? I think that was TSB. It was. Nick, your third question, this is Moscone Cup. The inaugural Moscone Cup in 1994 was the only time the competition featured female players. One of Europe's two female players at the time was Alison Fischer, which 11-time European champion and one-time world champion German player was the other. Stark. Is correct. And Beth, we will finish the round with you. Mm -hmm. with the world's strongest man. Between 1977 and 1982, the first six World's Strongest Man competitions all took place in which country? This was the same country that provided all the winners of these competitions, Bruce Wilhelm, Don Reinhardt, and Bill Kazmaier. USA? Is correct. Your second question, which band had a UK number one in 1998 with Blue Dabadi and their follow-up Move Your Body, which re reached number three in the UK, remains their last single to chart in the UK? It fell 65. Correct. And your third and final question on cocktails. Popular during the 1920s and 1930s, which cocktail made from apple brandy, grenadine and lemon or lime juice featured in Ernest Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises. Oh, pass. Nick? Pass. Dave? Pass. Julia? No, pass. That is a Jack Rose. So at the end of round three, it is incredibly close. Nick is on seven. All the other players are on eight points. It is all to play for. We start round four with Julia. Julia, Minecraft. In 2014, Mojang corrected the historical gender imbalance by adding a female playable character alongside the male, Steve. What four-letter name did they give her? No, pass. Nick. Pass. Dave. I can't remember. Pass. Okay, take a pass, Beth. Pass. Okay, that is Alex. Uh, and Julia, Best Director Oscar winners. In 1977, Lena Wertmuller was the first woman nominated for the Best Director Oscar for the film Seven Beauties. She lost to which man, the director of Rocky? Um, it's not going to come to me. I could sit here for an hour, so pass. Nick? Abildson. Is mm. correct. And your third question on Gilmore Girls, Julia. In season six of Gilmore Girls, while at college, Lorelei's daughter Rory becomes the editor-in-chief of which publication? Yale Daily News. Is correct. And moving on to Dave. 80s music, Dave. I suspect this might be straight up your street. <laughs> Stop me when you've heard enough. We don't, need, <laughs> we don't need this fascist groove fang. Was the debut single banned at the time by the BBC for which group who took their name from a fictional group in the novel A Clockwork Orange? Heaven 17. Indeed. Poisonings in Agatha Christie. In Dumb Witness, a seance is held where there appears to be an aura coming from the mouth of Emily Arundel shortly before her death. Hercule Poirot infers that one of her liver tablets has been switched for another tablet containing which poisonous chemical element? Is it element? Yeah. Arsenic. Incorrect. Nick. That would have been my guess as well. 
Okay, I'd say that's a pass then. Julia? Yeah, I would have said arsenic. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. Beth? Valium? No, it's phosphorus. That's oh. what creates a glow in the dark. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Glow in the dark, yeah. yeah. Dave, your third question. Mark Felix has made a record 16 appearances at the World's Strongest Man. Although he has competed for Great Britain, his highest finish was fourth in 2006 when he was representing which Caribbean nation? Uh, he represented Grenada. He did. So we move on to the third player, Nick, and still things are very, very close. Nick, we're starting with you with cocktails. It's name alluding to the Christmas story. What well, cocktail uses one part each of Scotch whiskey, bourbon whiskey, and Tennessee whiskey? Three wise men. Correct. Nick, your second question is on 90s Eurodance hits. Which Eurodance UK number one single from 1994 is based on an American folk song written before the Civil War? with versions of it released in 1929 by Gid Tanner and the Skillet Lickers, and in 1941 by Burl Ives, and in 1992 by The Chieftains. Cotton Eye Joe. Correct. In Only Fools, what was the name of the band that Rodney founded with Mental Mickey, only to be thrown out a week before they went on top of the pops? Bunch of Wallace. Is correct. <laughs> For three, well done, Nick. Full house. And we finish Beth with you. Moscone Cup, she'd been looking oh. forward to. <laughs> uh, your Moscone Cup question. In 1998, who became the first female referee to officiate at the Moscone Cup? Us. Oh. Dave. Presume it's Michaela Tab. It is Michaela Tab, correct. Uh, your second question, Beth, is on advertising slogans. In 2003, which pop star released a single based on the long-running McDonald's I'm Loving It jingle, for which he had originally provided the vocals? Justin Timberlake. Correct. And your final question, and the final question of the quiz, on the Muppets. On the Muppet Show, the Pigs in Space skits centred on the interstellar exploits of Dr. Link Hogthrob, the first mate Miss Piggy, and Dr. Julius Watt. Pass. Pass. That's a pass, Nick. Strange pork. Strange pork is correct. Great answer. Nice. <laughs> so with that final question answer, we do have a winner. Ooh. In joint third, and both scoring one point towards a quiz omnium, a Julia and Beth. <laughs> In second place is Dave, scoring three points for the quiz omnium. And first, and scoring the maximum five points for the quiz omnium, is Nick. Congratulations. Well done, Nick. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever win a quiz giving the answer Julius Strange Pork. I must confess. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have, uh, there you have it, and you have won indeed the quiz. Um, very tight, very close match. Well played, everybody. So we will now move into elimination, the second of our four games, with things finally poised and all players playing well. So congratulations, all. We'll see you again. <laughs>